Okay, in this video, I'm going to walk through on how you can use uh, get parameters in your URLs to dynamically change content throughout your entire site. Uh, use cases for that would be, let's say you're targeting a specific industry, and if you're a con, you know, with different contractors like landscaping, roofing, or you know, whatever the category may be, you can change content and personalize the content within the site to that specific industry by leveraging the parameters that are inside the URL. Another use case from that is if, let's say you have a workflow set up in Ligna or an email that you're sending out, inside your link you can provide those parameters uh, and personalize them with the internal tags. So if that lead comes back to your site or clicks on the link, they can see a more personalized experience. And so to do that, there's really three different parts to this. The first part is really simple. You can create these tags yourself. Uh, all it is is curly brackets, uh, get, period, or dot, anything. Whatever you want can be replaced here on anything and then close your curly brackets. You can put this in all your copy, all your links, anywhere you want uh, throughout the site. So for instance, you know, if you want to apply it as a link and you're grabbing an industry and you want them to go to the specifically like a landscaping page or you know whatever, you, you know, the Creativity that you can do with this is is really, uh, you know, you you can do anything basically that you want as far as taking that dynamic content that come or dynamic variable from the URL and changing your content, changing your links, changing whatever you want to do. So to do this, right? So you just add this tag. This can be anything you want. So I'm going to go out to my test site here, and one thing you'll notice here, and this is the second part of this video, is how is this showing nothing here, my friend, when in the content I have this block here. And I'll explain how that works and, and how you can set that up. But just a simple part of it is, hey, I want to change content. Again, using the same example, I may have copy that I want to say, hey, this is for the landscaping industry or roofing industry. And I want to change that content based on what's put in the URL. I may use a URL and ad campaign. Again, in my email links, I may be personally sending that to somebody. So to do that, here on this URL, I'm going to do forward slash. I'm going to do question mark and I'm going to do anything equals. So whatever I put in after this, it could be Bob Dylan, it could be test, um, it could be whatever you want. When I hit enter, this is going to replace that tag with Bob Dylan. And so now everywhere where I have that tag throughout the site, which in this example I only have here, will be personalized with Bob Dylan. So that's cool. You can do that anywhere you want. What's also really cool is if I were to remove this, right? So for instance, the way this works is the only way Bob Dylan's going to show up here is if anything equals is in the URL and the value is, is shown after this. However, that's a disadvantage because then you would have to build a site exclusively just for these par parameters. So in your current site, you know, you're not going to want to go update all your links with all these parameters. It's, just, it's a lot of work. In addition to that, you don't really want to have a second website all for this. What's really cool is you don't have to include those in your links as soon as the session starts. So we create encrypted sessions and also encrypted cookies. Uh, the cookies last for 30 days. And so that way, as long as they come in initially from that link, their experience of going through your website and their session will have this dynamic content uh, reference or personalized to them. And what I mean by that, now if I remove this from the URL, you will now see Bob Dylan stays there. So now as I go through this entire site, all those tags will work, right? So you don't have to include it in your URL after the initial entry. So typically what you'd wanna do is send this link out, you know, from your homepage or whatever landing page or internal page. Once that user clicks that link and visits your page, from there on out, whatever link they go to throughout your entire site, this experience will be personalized. So as long as you have that initial point of entry, that tag will work just fine. Now, what's also cool, if I go back here, we have this other tag or this other attribute or variable that you can put in. It's called REDIR equals one. So if you add ampersand REDIR equals one to any part of your URL here with your parameters, the system will automatically redirect, set those sessions, encrypt the cookie and session IDs, and go ahead and redirect. That way you don't have anything in the URL at all. Um, that way, you know, it, what's great about that is, you know, as you pass through, it may be a lot of parameters here, and you just want to shorten that up for them, you know, for the visitor experience. You could just redirect that. 
Again, it's it's um, a personal preference. You don't have to add that in there. Uh, if you want, it automatically does that for you. It's going to do that automatically if they click on another page, right? So at that point, all the parameters are gone. Uh, they're set and you can use them freely throughout your entire site. So that's really cool. Uh, in addition to that, so let me go back here uh, to this, this part here. You'll see that this section is showing, right? So in the CMS, this is where it becomes a little more advanced, right? Here, you don't need to know how to access the code and, and do any of this stuff. You can apply this tag anywhere throughout the site as your link attributes, whatever you want. Uh, for instance, you may have a button here that when they click on it, it goes into more information about maybe uh, examples, right? So site examples or case studies or whatever. And you want to have the industry uh, as the link, part of the link, right? And so you'd use that as part of like your industry page. And so it dynamically changes for that. So this is, again, you can get really creative with it. Uh, there's so many different ways of how I would use this uh, and how we are going to use this today. Um, also, you know, all the personalization that you can do with the certain links that you send for like profiles and things like that. That's where you get into the more advanced stuff here. And I'm going to cover that. So you'll see that I have this content block here, right? So this content block, you'll see it says get anything. And then this content block, which if I go up one, you'll see, well, here, let me show you in the code. Because it's the only way you can do this, right? So if you don't know how to, you know, work with code or at least see the code and understand what you're trying to do, uh, this will uh, be difficult for you. But again, you can use the tags throughout and leverage this same functionality. But here, if I go into the code itself and I go down to that section, let's see here. Oops, I go too far. Yep, right here. You'll see that I have get anything just like a div, right? So get anything. So we talked about the tags. So let me go, let me go back here. Um, so we talked about the tags. So the tag is curly bracket, curly bracket, get dot anything, all lowercase, right? Close or curly brackets. So that's your tag to use. And you'll see that I'm using that tag right here. So here's the tag, all right? So get dot anything, curly brackets. Well, I'm wrapping this section with the same tag, except I'm removing the dot. So there's no dot and it's all lowercase. So if you're familiar with code, you, you look at this and say, oh, that's pretty cool because it's like a section, it's like a div, it's like what, it's just your name, right? So it's get anything, whatever you want. So you wrap that entire section with get anything and then you close it out with get, the, get anything. So what that means is if this is set in the URL or a session or a cookie that matches anything, get anything, right? So this variable here, it'll show that content block and not show the other content block and how that works. So you don't have to do this. You could just remove this and just have get anything. And this section will not show unless anything equals a value is there in the URL. So that's cool if you wanna have like content blocks appear if the URL parameter matches. Um, you can then do an else statement. So in this scenario, if anything equals is not there, it's going to show this div or this attribute. And the attribute is simply else get anything, all lowercase, no dot. So I wrap else get anything here. And now I can show get anything when get anything, anything. Again, it doesn't have to be, it's not get anything up here. It's just anything. It's get anything. And the reference is a get variable, right? So I'm getting the variable from the URL anything. And so my attribute is get anything all lowercase. Wrap with whatever you want to show if anything is in the URL with value. If not, else get anything, show this. So I mentioned before, and I'll kind of just go through here real quick. Uh, so if I go in here to the application, and let me just delete. This is just if you want to delete your cookies. Um, by the way, if you ever want to delete cache or cookies just from the URL, you can do that that way. So, oops, what am I doing? Sorry, uh, trying to get this back. I want to get back to the normal view. So I'm going to clear all that. And so now if I hit refresh within the site, you'll see nothing is here because there's no print, there's no cookie sessions, there's nothing being said here. So that's what's showing. It's showing the else section here. If I didn't have this here, it would just show nothing. This would be brought up here because this content block would not exist. 
Uh, so that's extremely powerful if you're basically setting a site, right? So if you're going to set a site to, um, you know, uh, let's say you want to create an agent site, right? And you want to have the agent's profile information. So you can have all the other tags inside here as well. They all work. So they all get flipped out, you know, the profile, the names, whatever you want to do to personalize on a profile level. Uh, same with the funnel tags, any of those custom tags you create. All those work within this. And then you can wrap it around, again, with your own custom one. So let me just go back, close this out. And actually, I just want to show you what it looks like when it is encrypted. So Bob Dylan, right? So then you hit inspect. And you'll see inside the application here, you'll see anything and it's encrypted, right? It's extremely powerful that it's encrypted, right? You don't want to have this data just being shown around. So it's all encrypted. Everything is there uh, safely for you. And like I mentioned, you can also do and REDR equals one, and that'll do the redirect automatically for you and set. Um, again, as you go through and get creative with this, you can have all the different content blocks. You can literally show one section of your site. I mean, if I were to come in here, you know, click on my source view, and I wrap this top part with the get anything, right? Because it's anything in the URL parameter. Let me just go back for you. Anything here. So get any, oh, I have the redirect on. There we go. Um, anything here. So it's get anything. If I wrap this top part, then nothing would show, right? But I can do the else get anything and show a whole different website. I mean, I could show, I could have two websites in here, two different home pages, right? So it's not just each individual content block. You could do the whole page. You could have a different navigation. You could, I mean, you could virtually do anything you want. Uh, so you can get really creative with this. And in addition to that, you have, again, all the links. So let me go back to this little section. All your links here that you would use, you can use this as part of your link. So if you want to click on learn more or whatever, you know, that's great. Uh, and, and so again, this is all the get parameters. We have the ability to do this as well with all the tags. So the if else statements with all the tags that you create in the system, and that's the next video I'm going to do. So again, this is just for the URL parameters. There's a lot of need for that. Use cases, again, links and emails to personalized content for the lead that comes through. Uh, you have content that you can pr or at least personalize for your you know, profile information or just personalize for the industry. Whatever comes in this URL, you can personalize that experience. So again, I hope, hope that makes sense. You don't have to use the advanced model to work or the code level to actually make this work you can go and use just this tag throughout your entire content and if you don't have the tag right if it doesn't if there's no value it just won't show up right so you know you do have to rework some of your stuff that you would have within your content uh, for that to show up uh, but yeah if you have any questions let me know